Hey guys, so today we have IRC Worm, the twin 32.fagot and these are all of the three variants that I have of the Worm it's the E variant, the A variant and the C variant and let's go ahead and start with the basic static analysis so I guess I'm going to do the A variant just leave the, those there for now and first let's check let's check if this program is packed and it is not and we can see that it was in fact programmed in Delphi let's continue to see what imports it has and we can see a lot of imports going on right so there's a sleep function so that means it might wait a bit until it actually shows its payload we can see that oh, it uses a lot of stuff so basically can modify from what I see here can modify files and doesn't really do anything with the processes actually it does open process right so it can actually manipulate processes if it wanted to not sure where yet we're just gathering we're just guessing now from the imports I haven't analyzed this more well before so right so okay so it does modify the registry yep it might have a graphical user interface I'm not sure I mean I wouldn't expect it to because it's a worm ok message box also it's probably for the fake message box because we can see here a, a message box so you see, if you see a message box here then it probably gives you a fake message and that's it for the imports let's try to view its strings a lot of strings going on here file not found error so this um, read write and stuff right like that this confirm that it actually modifies the file system alright so I guess we should just go straight to straight to the analysis um, let's open up process explorer process monitor just gonna do this really quickly Okay, so I think we are ready. So let's open up Fagot. A lot of stuff going on around here, and I mean, a lot of stuff. just stop it from capturing any more events once we've confirmed that it doesn't do anything else 
can see it started up a process right here. That's weird, we get a lot of SV cost stuff. Hmm, no wonder. What's all of this? Whoa, what? Seriously? Is it just is it is it just flooding the registry or something? It's so weird. Right, let's just stop this because before the computer crashes. Okay, deleted. So, hey, yo, why is it deleting it? Just check as because right here. Might have hidden itself here. Let's just check this out. That's so weird. Right, so let's just filter it to show only the war. And it's gonna take a while, so... What? Seriously gonna crash? Error? What the hell is that error? Oh, it's a... It's a warm error. So the worm is in fact in the memory. I'm I'm having suspicions of of actually installing itself in SV cost because did you see everything that SV cost did? What did it replace the registry or something? Right, so we see a lot of files being replaced right here. What's DLL hosted it, right? Like copy itself there or something? I'm gonna find out now. Or maybe it's searching for ex executable files in the, in the Windows directory. And then it like deletes them or something or replaces them. Are you serious? Also, it can't even... It... Copy stuff right, right here. It's supposed to change the name and all that, but... Alright, so... Let's see what values it changed. So to change the start page, what's going on here, to blacksnake.com. So um, I'm gonna have to check that out. Probably with Wayback Machine. Um, Alright, so it, it runs along with Windows using this registry run key. But the main damage I'm guessing is that I mean, it copied itself here because it renamed itself DLL host 32 and it copies itself to the system 32 folder from what I can see here. Um, Alright, change the Internet Explorer default username and. Oh, win. Oh, this is. Alright, so what did it change it to? Cock sucking faggot. Here it is. So next time we restart the computer, if it actually restarts, then this should be our, our username. And uh, yeah, alternative default username. So, alright, so 
I have good reasons to believe it actually overwritten this to render them useless so oh even shut down so I mean we restart the computer now it's probably fucked already log on screen replaced let's try actually ending explorer to the xc oh what right so let's just restart oh wait it won't work Oh my god, the lag is real. So that's the, probably the registry thing we've seen going on. Probably installed itself in the... In SV cost. I'll have to do an analysis again to check out the, what's going on with the SV cost, I guess. So it won't even restart, so let's just manually restart it. Or is it? Power restart. what are you serious right so no more vmware stuff so i guess let's just let's power it off and then let's run it again And we can't get it back. It's done. Alright then. So I think that's about it for the... What was it for the Fagot Worm? And... Um, thanks for watching and... If you have any requests for any worm or any other virus you want me to do, just leave it down in the comments. I'll make sure I do it. And thanks for watching. Alright. Don't forget to subscribe. And see you next time.